Hello and welcome to this Blender tutorial. My name is Ben Morgan and in this tutorial I'm going to teach you guys the basis of shape keys and shape key drivers. What a shape key is is basically a value that determines um, the shape of a object that you predefine um, such as the uh, an eyebrow moving up or something. And what a driver does is it bases the object's location on the value of that shape key. So let me just get started and show you what I mean. Delete the cube and add in a monkey. So add in Suzanne, go to front view. And what we're gonna do is add in a shape key. So go to object data and add in a shape key. That's the basis, that's just where everything is based off of in the beginning. Add another one, we're gonna name this eyebrow up underscore L. So we're gonna raise its left eyebrow. Make the value one and basically just move these guys up. So he's kinda kind of suspicious right now. So if we move that, you can see that the shape of the mesh is changed. And now what we're going to do is right click, add driver. And so that's going to, we're going to use that later, but um, that's basically how you add in a driver. So right click the value, add driver. We're going to make a curve. So shift A, add Bezier curve. And there's one thing to note, everything for the location of this um, curve is based relatively to the location of the head's origin. So we have our or head's origin right here where this orange dot is. We want to make sure that this, or, um, this object's origin is directly at the head's origin. So how do we do that? Simple. Don't move it at all. Tab into edit mode and do all your moving then. So we're going to rotate it on the x-axis 90 degrees. Um, we're going to press 3 to go into side view so we can see it all. Move it forward and kind of uh, shape it to his eyebrow. Shape it to his eyebrow like so. Okay, so you see we have a curve like this. And when we move it, his origin um, right there is... Uh, right next to the object's origin. And that's important because if you don't do that, then uh, you're basically gonna start moving your object and then it's not gonna happen. And then all of a sudden, you'll be like right here and it'll start to affect the shape key. And you don't want that. So Alt G to do that, uh, to undo that. Now we're gonna split the view and we're gonna make a graph editor and change it to drivers because we wanna work with our drivers. Right click our monkey, select the value for the uh, eyebrow up key and press N to bring up this panel right here. We can press T to get rid of that. Okay, so we want our driver to be based on the average value, so type is average value, of the Bezier curve that we made, and we want its Z location in world space to affect this key. So now if we move it up, our object directly affects that eyebrow up um, our, our, our um, eyebrow up driver key. So that's cool, but there are a few things we can do to make this better. First, if you press N to bring up the uh, transform data, we can lock the translation or the transformation on the location on the X and Y axes so that you can't move it left or right or back. You can only move it up and down. But we also don't want it to be moving like so far up and down like this. So we're gonna go in and add a constraint. We're gonna add a limit location constraint we're going to make the maximum 0, That's f or the minimum is going to be 0. The minimum Z will be 0. The maximum Z, though, if we grab it up, we'll uncheck that for now. If we grab it up with N still, uh, uh, press N to bring up the location. Grab it up. You'll see that um, around 1.015, 1.015, that's where the shape key gets maxed out. And if you select your guy, yeah, you can see that it's one right now. Um, so make the maximum 1.015. And basically now we can't move it anywhere but up and down. And uh, you can move it in between. But yeah, that's cool. You can keyframe the location of this curve and you can have it affect the value. And so this is really, really, really useful. Um, you can basically do uh, a whole ton of things with this. Um, you could have um, a whole like 
key right here. You can have it like a, um, I don't know what you call it, like a sheet of keys, and you can have like predefined like vowel shapes like A, E, and you can have basically like a slider right here and here, and you can have it affect the phoneme shapes for a character, so you could easily and quickly do um, mouth animations and lip syncing and like stuff like that. You could have um, you could have say like a bone where your eyes point to, and on that you can have a driver where you can have um, the scaling of that object affect the blinking of a character, and a whole ton of things. This is used by professionals. Um, the same method, just like this. So yeah, thank you for watching. Hope you learned something, and please subscribe.